Damn, why is this shit wet? Y'all, I had to peel my skinny jeans off. The top <laughs> was gonna burst. The swag continues though. Thank you for the plato. It looks as good as Panda can get. With the, the YouTube fucking hand thing. Do you ever feel Here's an egg. like a plastic bag? Dripping through the wind. So to keep it on brand, we're home now eating mall food. This is some Panda Express mukbang, but I actually can't believe that we were able to get a whole squadron friend group to dress up and pull up to the mall. And we got the fits together in a day. We did. I really didn't even think I would find skinny jeans or leggings, but somewhere deep in the closet. Do you remember Baby Scumbag? What happened to that fool? I think he got canceled, disappeared off the face of the earth. I heard he came back. He's like a rapper. His name's like Lil Cloud or something, right? Shut I up. Swear, I swear, his name is like Lil Cloud. And he's a, I don't know if it's exactly Lil Cloud, but look. You remember um, Ulima? I remember Ulima. Ulima, was, yeah. she was she was in her fucking bag. I did some research. I know she has a kid and like a baby daddy. Yes, look, he's literally Lil Cloud. I don't, I don't think he has an IG, but let me check his YouTube. Of course he doesn't have an IG. Let's go to his YouTube. Damn, his songs are all gone. What do you think he does now? I feel like because he had like the honey stuff, he probably just made a bag. Oh, bags run low, especially when you first get a bag. Oh, look, he has a music video. He got like 500k views. What year was this? 2019. Of course. 69? Of course it's Hotel Room 69. Okay, if y'all don't remember Baby Scumbag, let me give y'all a little backstory. So he used to be this kid who was like 12 years old. And around like when the swag era was popping, he had a crazy clothing brand. He was signed to like DGK skateboards and he was like a super famous little kid. Like, he was like one of the first influencers that was huge. And then he did some crazy stuff and he got canceled. Yeah, I feel like if you had virality during this era, you were really in your bag. Like you were really doing it. What was your favorite brand of the swag era? I was really obsessed with primitive stuff. So fun fact, I did not get to live out my swag era dreams. Why? A couple reasons. Like for one, I was young. Definitely didn't have my own money at the time. Like my mom was not gonna spend that type of money on certain of these okay. items. The generic shit like the Cali hoodies and stuff like that. Honestly, I wasn't too drawn to the Cali hoodies. Like that one was I one that I those. wasn't like, oh, I really want this bag. I remember my a whole year when I was in like fourth or fifth grade, that's all I wore every day to school. <laughs> I remember it got so bad it started like stinking. What? <laughs> That's so real of you. That, and then also, I'm the youngest child, so I had two older siblings, right? And like my sister at the time was absolute thrift queen, and my brother was like, he was into like streetwear, like un like underground streetwear brands. Like he didn't like shit that like was already popular. So the fact that this like these brands were like big. So, so moral of the story, I would have got clowned. I would have really got clowned, but like, I don't know. I was uh, I was rocking with it though internally. I can't even lie. So I'm kind of living out my childhood dream right now. So what was your favorite brand? You didn't answer though. I don't know what I wanted to wear at the time. I just really wanted the whole look. I remember, I remember thinking stuff like Diamond Supply Co. and like Primitive was so expensive. That's what I'm saying. I, remember I, I would ask my mom and she'd be like, nah, that's some expensive clothes. Now I look back, they're like, the shirts are like $25. Were they that price at the time? I think they were priced that at the time. I remember um, famous Stars and Stripes. Last Kings. Who else was lit? What artist did you really fuck with at the time? And to that, honestly, I don't remember much of my life before I was like 14 to 15. <laughs> I didn't go lie to you. I remember like bits and pieces from when I was young. Right. But I don't understand how when I talk to someone, they're like, yeah, when I was like eight, I, I did this and this and this. I'm like, how do you remember what you liked, what you did? Like, I have no recollection of life. Like, I don't even have photos from when I was young. I don't know what happened, where they are. Like, I don't think I was real. Mm, I was just about to say, maybe you didn't exist, though. That's why I'm like... Maybe you just spawned out I of nowhere. I genuinely think so. From middle school, not a single photo exists to me in life, ever. I swear. Uh, do you remember the app Cam Wow? I, I do. I have a very, very faint memory that I didn't like Tyga. That's but it wasn't like, oh, I hate Tyga. I was just like, oh, like, cool, mm -hmm. Rack City. Oh. Do you remember King Kylie era? Yeah. They're saying that she's trying to get uh, that she's trying to get back in that bag because apparently, like, she dyed her hair pastel pink or something. And sometimes you want to go back to like the way things. Are we are, all having the spiritual awakening? Yeah, that's us. That's why we have to get our our little content and stuff up because when you get your ideas. Thank you. You have to post because if not, someone else is going to get Everybody it. Get, everybody gets the download. Yeah. It's like, are you yeah. going to act upon your download or not? And we're acting upon it. Not like, we're fully in character right now. Well. Well. Yeah, that, that was our little swag era talk. Shout out to the friends who actually pulled up to the mall 
This was a very last second idea. Yeah, right, like, right before I left to Mexico, Jay came up with the perfect idea. Like, hey, we should go viral. You were already like thinking about I was, running this fit type yeah. shit, but I was like, then you were like, wait, what if we go somewhere in and public, get people in on it? And there's more ideas, but I can't say them on camera because y'all can't know. But as of now, just know we have them lined up. When this video is up, the TikToks are up, so we're ahead of the game. But yeah, if y'all remember the swag era, you're a real one. But uh, yeah, shout out to 2012. Yeah. And if you want to live out your swag dreams, live them out. If you want to live any era of dreams, do it. Ain't no, oh, I'm going to bring this back. I'm about, just do it. Yeah, just have fun it. with it. This is what fashion is for. Like, feel free to dip and dabble. Have fun. A lot of the stuff that I wear now is stuff I wanted as a kid that I couldn't buy. So now I'm wearing it even though it's not in style. But then you gotta make it in style. Do you do an outro for your videos? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit the. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, see y'all.